Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist. And today I'm just going to be covering the last part of the Schmidt and Bender hunting series scopes. Now previously you would have seen that I covered the classics and the Polar T96, but today I'm going to cover the pinnacle, which is the Exos. Now it doesn't necessarily have a conventional magnification uh, or objective size, however what it does offer is that sort of top level hunting optic. So without, without further ado, let's just have a quick look at the scope itself. As you can see, quite a lengthy bit of kit, so you obviously got a lot of room there and gives you a decent amount of eye relief when it comes to any sort of different rifle system. It is a 3 to 21 by 50. So the 3 to 21 obviously allows you to be quite versatile, sort of closer and further targets with the 50 mil objective, allowing you to put low profile mounts on there while still getting a high 90s, uh, sorry, high 90s to, um, percentage in terms of tra light transmission through the actual scope itself. What I do like about the Exos is that the illumination is separate from the remainder of the turret, so there's no issues with you accidentally knocking the side focus, etc. while you are playing about with the illumination. That is just located here on the side. And then on the other side here, on the main turret itself, you've of course got your side focus, which goes down 25 meters right up to infinity. Looking at the top of the scope here itself, you have this sort of like uh, ASV style turret on there. So as you can see on the top, you've got these six different numbers on there. So you can actually set for multiple different zeros. So let's say you set your, your main zero for 100 yards, you can then set for 200, 300, 400, etc. So you've got a lot of option there to actually have this scope to be pushing out to a decent distance. Nice simple reticle and size that still has that hunting ethos about it. But of course, as I say, with those bits and pieces on there, you can quite easily click to, yep, okay, I've pinged that, that deer is actually just over 200 yards. I'm just going to go for that one instead. All of this is complemented with a nice 34mm tube on the actual scope itself. So again, that does help to really draw in the light and really generate a nice crystal clear image on the actual scope. Flip up covers as standard with the actual unit. As you can see there, they just come up nice and easy, protected from all sorts of weather and bits and pieces. Um, so you are going to be well protected in any sort of environment. Of course, that classic sort of European German glass, so that real high transmission, allowing you to identify your species quite well. But of course, as I say, the Exos represents the sort of the top of the hunting range from Schmidt and Bender. Um, so you really aren't going to get much better than that from them on the market in terms of a hunting scope. Certainly if I had the money, I'd have one straight on my 270. There's no doubt about that at all. Um, however, I just had to put up with the Polar T96 instead. Um, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave comments below. Drop us an email, drop us a phone call. We'll always do our very best to get back to you as quickly as we possibly can. But I've been James, your night vision and hunting specialist. And this has been another video from Optics Warehouse.